Welcome back to another video of Robo CNC. I'm Marcel. Today we're gonna start uh, on the gantry, um, the Y axis in my case, uh, the assembly of it. Um, this part, as you can see here, um, we're gonna leave the ball screw alone for another video because I want to be able to move the Z axis uh, for now. Um, so we're gonna assemble the sides, put some stickers on it, and um, well, that's about it for this video, I think. So let's hop into it. Well, to uh, get a really good brainwash effect, uh, I will have to place some Robo CNC stickers everywhere you guys look at. So I'm starting to uh, apply some uh, vinyl stickers on this, uh, this gantry. Um, by the way, for the, well, not only for the Dutch, uh, people but we do make stickers here at Robo CNC so if you need any uh, any vinyl stickers or you just want a Robo CNC sticker because you're a real big fan just uh, hit me a line or uh, find our web shop For those uh, who didn't watch uh, the earlier videos in this series, the, the item profile used here is 160 uh, millimeters by 80 millimeters. Um, I got this uh, directly from item um, in Germany, so uh, cut to size. Um, if you want to do some machining on them, they can, uh, can provide some machining, so that uh, works great. The linear rail that I used here is the 20 millimeter Hewin rails. I got these from uh, damencnc.com and of course they come with, uh, with the green caps, the Hewin green caps. Um, if you would not uh, cap off these uh, bolt holes, um, dust and stuff can go, can go into these, uh, these holes and not only it will uh, clog up the holes but uh, this way it can also uh, get into your Hewin carriages and um, that would not be uh, all that great for the, the ball bearings and uh, uh, smooth right. So just uh, put the caps into its uh, position the right way down um, Get a wooden block and tap them into place um, You can feel with your finger they're flush with the rail um, Please do not use a metal hammer to uh, hammer them in right directly onto the Hewen rail because uh, It will damage it and it will not be uh, a really smart idea. So with the green caps in and the stickers on the item profile, it's uh, starting to look like something. So this is going to be the Y-axis travel. And uh, this is the Z-axis. So to mount the gantry sides we machined in the last video, we make uh, some threaded holes on the side of the item profile. I'm going to use MA thread, so I need to bore all the, the holes uh, with, uh, with the 7mm drill bit. As a lubricant I use WD-40, which uh, works like a charm on aluminum. After all the holes are drilled to uh, 7 mm, we can start threading with a standard metric M8 tab. Um, as you can see I'm lazy, I'm doing it uh, the electric way, which is fine for this, uh, for this material and, uh, and these threads.
to make sure the gantry sides will be really square with this profile, we really need to deburr all the burrs and edges of this, uh, this profile. So I use a countersink to just deburr the, the holes we just drilled. So in the third video of this uh, video series, uh, we machined the two sides of the gantry. Well, this is one of them. And uh, it's not uh, shiny anymore because I bead blasted it with uh, glass beads to get uh, this look, um, the look I want on the machine. Um, this is one of the well, spacers or uh, the, the, this will house the carriages for the x-axis and uh, it should fit in this, uh, in this uh, slot that we milled and as you can see it, it's a really tight fit we have to uh, use some force to get it in but that's just great um, we don't want it to be sloppy it uh, ensures uh, a great uh, fit and uh, an exact 90 degree angle of the two parts With uh, eight Allen screws, I'm uh, going to mount the side onto the gantry. Um, I am not going to fully uh, tighten the bolts just yet. Just uh, put them in, uh, well, almost all the way and uh, not tighten them yet. Now it's uh, time to place the bearing block that will house the hewing carriages of the x-axis x -axis, um, in the side. It should snap into place like so. This will uh, be mounted by uh, again the 8mm uh, Allen screws. But uh, these screws can be tightened all the way. And now we see why we left the screws of the side a little bit loose. Um, I'm going to use this woodworking clamp to make sure everything is completely square to the item profile. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to work uh, with references and uh, make sure everything is square to each other when you uh, try to make a CNC machine. It is just really important. So now with the clamp in place I can tighten all the Allen screws and fix it uh, to its final position. As always, when tightening something, um, use a crosswise motion uh, well, to tighten everything. So and this is the result of the gantry uh, for now. Uh, still on the to-do list is the ball screw. We're gonna do that in an uh, in an upcoming video. Okay, guys. Hope you liked the video. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you have not already. Share it with your friends. And I hope to see you in the next uh, episode. Thanks for watching.